don't understand sometimes. Sometimes things are too deep. Uh, for even, even for our chacham, certain things are too deep. Only the pshat is, even if it's too deep, but at least he knows there's a lot more than what you see up there. Shed. You see a bad stitches, you see strings hanging, you see people. You think it just means that it's a way of being charedi, or it's a way of belonging to the from world, or it's yeshiva, or you think that's what it is. It, or, or, or even more than that, you think it, it's a mitzvah. Very good, it's a mitzvah. But, but it's a lot, a lot more than that, that we have no musak. Zochel mekabel pnei shechina. But even that, we, we because you understand what that means. Zochel mekabel pnei shechina. But it means something very big. You're sitting there and you're, you're mekabel the face of the shechina. You're saying Torah noon based on the Kutum Iran right now. <laughs> in your own <laughs> words. Through the tzitzit, through wearing the tzitzit. Okay. Maybe I'll look it up. So, so, so he says. So he says that a chacham knows that he knows that this is not simple. What what you're doing here? That everything is very, very important. Even even something mom is small, like opening darn kodesh for the piyutim. That not for outsas. Uh, outsas. <laughs> We talked about it before, so because we're in L, you know, we're getting close. So, so, uh, so, 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 even that, but you're opening up the Arn Kodesh, who knows what's happening in heaven, whatever. That's a, the famous the Sefer Nefesh HaChaim starts with that. The Dab Malam and everything above is coming from you, you're doing it over here. When we open up the Arn Kodesh in this world, I imagine that the, the gates open up over there. The boss, it's time. There's that child, he goes up and says, open up, You do, in my Mea Shereen days, there was, I heard the old, two old women standing once, he said they would never miss for anything when they open the Oren Kodesh for Kriya Sasei for Torah, for Shabbos, Kol HaKashamati Me'i Isha Chachama Mitkoa. Wow. Oh, my Mea Shereen. Wow. So I'm saying, I'm saying, uh, that, that's, uh, that's what our Chacham understands, that. And that's what the grub meant. That it's hard to leave all the mess. But but I each bar and exhale. It's a from thing. It's 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 uh, what's it called? Jewish folklore. It's it's bebchinas. I mean, I'm not talking about a, a, a modern Orthodox chassid. We're not talking chassid of shalom about a modern Orthodox. I'm talking about a from person. But even that, we have a bechina a, a of a yetzer inside that we don't uh, say it with our mouths. That it's 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 Jewish folklore. It's it's but it's now it's it's a zocher mekabel pnei shchin. I'm saying that's. I like the Rebbe says. What's important there in the harshal zahav and this shama? Everything is important. Everything is important. It's a famous line in the Sefer Sipur Maisis from the Breslau Rebbe. He came into a certain place and he asked, what's important over here? So they answered, you know, over here, everything is important. There's no such thing as something that's not important. So I'm saying that's what Rabbi Yeruchim calls katnus. In one word, he calls it. All this is called katnus. Godless means that you know that, you know that everything is important over here. So I'm saying... That's what that's what the Bezdin says to the Sota. I'm bringing it all into our Mishnah over here. That we say to her, listen, Biti, Harbe, this here, here, here. Biti, we say to her, Harbe, there's Yayin. You should know, what kind of world are you living in? Have you been living in? Yayin, Schok, Yaldus, and Shechim Interesting that the Rashi Tev, I mean, I'm not so much into Rashi Tev, but it just, it just dawned on me that Yain and Schok is Yud Shin, and Yaldus and Shechem Ram is also Yud Shin. So, uh... Nafsid Shai Alamot. Shai Alamot, yes. Shalom Aleichem. So, uh, so I'm saying like this, that, uh, so I'm saying, I'm saying like this, you know, all this, all this that you've been doing, that your sister, I've added the husband already did Kino Yustira. But we tell, tell her, you know, you know what you're getting involved in? You're living in a world of catness, of, of a Hanoah, of a Rega. How long does it take the Almighty? 10, 15 minutes or maybe more. But uh, an hour. 
So, and then finish, the whole thing is finished, and then, uh, and like, mom is nothing left from it, like, on on color, like a cloud that just went away. And, and, and that's the world you're living in. That, that, that those kind of pleasures, that's what counts by you. But here we're dealing with the Shema Godel. We're going to take the Shema Godel Hashem Shnei, and we're going to erase it on our mind because to you that means there's, that Hashem is willing, is Muchon, the Chazal say, to, to take that you should erase it, Shema Godel, to make Shalom Bais Ben But it's not the ideal thing to do. It just there's no choice. Hashem has gave a hatter to be mochik the shmagol, but you should know. So we're telling you, you should know that there are things that are much higher than this little world that you're living in. There's the shmagol. So so try to forget about. So be modern them and try to go out of that world that you've been living in. These the the, the yaldus and the schok, and then then you have a chance. Uh, uh, at least I mean, it could be that that's a beginning of tshuva, of, of tshuva on what she did. That the, the, that she's mowed on them. It's in Hanami, so I have to leave her husband. But, but the meanwhile, we're not mochik b'shemagol. I, I think that, that it fits very good into the Mishnah. So what I started in the beginning when we learned the Mishnah, I was asking, what do you have to... You have to tell her all this. You have to tell her the causes of the very, that's the, what the causes were we tell her. The causes was childishness, drinking, bad neighbors. What do you have to tell her that for? Because we want to give her to understand what it means, Shmoa Godel, to be Mochek to Shmoa Godel Amman. It means, it means that there's something, that there's something way higher above you. And you, 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 and you, you're living here in this world of katnas, of hanuas, of rega, of the pleasures of the, uh, of the temporary pleasures of, of this world. So we, we, we're bringing it to her attention that there's something much, much higher than you. So, so if if you will be aware of that, so you can make a big tikkun by by not being mochik to shmoa god. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, get the idea. Okay, very good.